No green screen intro on this one, guys. Just wanted to jump into it. I don't think this is going to be a real long video. We're going to talk about a question that one someone had on the video I did about this counterattack one. They were like, why did Cold Steel would go with this almost delta pattern blade shape? Now, they've done it on a few knives. They did it on the counterattack series, and they did it on the Safe Maker series. So counterattack one and two, and the Safe Maker one and two, as you can see, have these very distinct delta style blades and there's a few reasons for it so a lot of people look at it and go oh i don't like that that should be a traditional dagger grind like you see on this crk sting that's an ag russell design it's a hundred percent a full double-edged grind now there's a few reasons and i can tell you i actually talked with lynn thompson in person about this at a knife show and i've seen the videos about it and i've tested some of these things myself so there's a few reasons that they went with this. And the first one is it's a very stiff blade this way. So as opposed to this, where you have a central ridge down the middle that does give it some strength, you've removed material on both sides. This has had much less material removed. So you have a very, very stiff and sturdy blade. This is a full tang blade. Same thing here. This is all one billet piece of, that has been ground. This is a piece of steel all the way through this. And so you've got one of the strongest blades you're gonna see, because you can see that is a very thick profile. The next reason is it's a incredibly strong tip for a dagger style grind like this, because instead of coming down and having material removed on both sides of the tip, it comes down to this wedge point, almost like a chisel on both sides. So you've got a very extremely robust point on this which also gives you some superior piercing. I'm gonna tell you that this knife actually, even though it looks like it should not, absolutely pierces better than this knife. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you when we get around to the other reason. So the next reason, these are very easy to maintain. It's really easy to take these and put them on a stone so what I was saying is it's really easy to take this and put it on a stone and touch this up because all you need to do is just really do a couple passes on either side just to hit that edge. And then a lot of your work is done just by simply laying that on there and touching that back up. And that is definitely way sharper than it was. The edge is also a lot more robust on these. And like I said, technically they do cut better and get sharper than a lot of your other dagger grinds because daggers typically are very thick behind the edge. They don't have a lot of time to transition down to a thin angle and still maintain a serviceable edge. They're more for piercing and so are these, but this allows you to transition that edge down to what is a much thinner profile. So you still have a very good edge and it slashes better than any of the other dagger grinds I've ever seen like this. And when I said about piercing, let me show you what I'm talking about. The way the tip on this transitions down, it just naturally wants to pierce. It takes a lot less force to pierce with this knife than it does with this knife. Oh, it takes a lot more force. And the next thing we talked about this tip, this leaves a wicked wound channel as opposed to this. This is going to close up a lot easier. This has that big, thick central area that just opens up and it gives you a much larger wound tract than you get on a standard knife like that. So piercing ease, I mean, it is way easier to pierce with this than it is with a standard dagger, especially in a push dagger. This thing's even more at ease driving through that material. So there's a lot of reasons why you would go with this blade shape. I just wanted to kind of address those because people have asked in the comments. The next thing is when you talk about tip strength, there's, a, there's one that we don't really talk about and it's the ease of ease of grinding this a lot of times these double-sided daggers like this are off center and so with that central ridge being off center it doesn't give you as piercing a tip it gives you an off center tip this they're only grinding one side so they only have to grind this edge down on one side so there's a lot of benefits to doing this uh when these first when i first started seeing these 
I wasn't really a fan of this hollowed out back with a very steep angle on this and a thick behind the edge here. But now that I've got a couple of them, I definitely dig it. I can understand why that once you get them, like I have not completely sharpened that one yet, but this one, you get these sharp, so, so sharp, way sharper than any other dagger I've ever had. So just thought I would address that question. It's a lot easier to do this in a video format where I can lay out some reasons why you would want to do that as opposed to try and just write out a comment. So let's turn this around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day right after you hear from this video sponsor. Have you ever reached down to tie your shoes and broken a shoelace? Of course you have. Well, imagine you're out in the middle of nowhere and you've got to have those shoes to get back. If you're hiking or if you're in the military, there's a reason I always carried and had multiple sets of replacement shoelaces. Well, Today's sponsor is Tempered Trail. They are giving you guys some of the most durable laces that you're ever going to find. 550 pounds of strength in those laces. So check them out with the link down below. It saves you 10% at checkout. They are offering a wide variety of colors and lengths. So you just pick the length, you pick the color, and you throw them in your shoes. So big shout out to Tempered Trail for sponsoring this video. Guys, let's get back to the knife. There you go, guys. Content driven by a comment from you guys. So I do read your comments. I don't always reply. There's just no way. I've got over 2,000 videos up. You got to figure. I, there's like, I get like 8,000 to 12,000 views every 48 hours. There's a lot of comments. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. Uh, there's ways to support the channel. You saw I did a sponsored ad for this video. I have three sponsors, Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail, Doll Strong Knives. They're all great companies. Check them out with the links down below. Doll Strong, I'm sorry, Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail have a discount built into the link. Um, there is also a coupon code you can use at those vendors. It is crazy sharp. All one word. It also works at Ferrum Forge Knifeworks and Rosecraft Blades, so you can save there. I've got a bunch of different affiliate links down below. All the major vendors, Blade HQ, uh, Knife Ship Free, GP Knives. You can check those out down below. I have a VPN link down below that currently is 85% off for a four-year subscription. Definitely do yourself a favor and get a VPN. It helps. Uh, there's an Amazon store down below. Take that, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you're going to do. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And I have got a membership. You might want to check it out. It's all tier-based. Everybody gets a lot of benefits. There's a private Discord, exclusive content. Baseline and premium guys get entered into giveaways. The premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. And I absolutely have started a community Discord that you can join. There's a link to that in the description below as well. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.